there are so many budget friendly wireless microphones in the market and then there is this microphone which i got for eighty thousand naira. you can check your local market for the price if you are watching this video from another country now let's take a look at this glm wireless mic lights by green lion which i will be reviewing and doing a sound test on in this video stick around to the end to hear what this microphone sounds like and also find out if it is worth your money or not so let's get down to business it comes in this wall package box with some of its features highlighted on it once the box is opened you will get this quality pouch which i believe stores the mic and its accessories inside the pouch we have the user manual please i think you should keep this safe because who knows you might still need it for setup instructions even after watching this video a usb a to two usb c charging cable one USB-C to lightning cable for connecting the receiver to your iPhone, a 3.5 mm jack cable for connecting the receiver to your camera, a USB-C to USB-C cable for connecting the receiver to your Type-C iPhone and Type-C audio enabled Android phone. It is also worth mentioning that all the cables in here feel strong and durable. We have also got the charging case in this part of the pouch right out of the box the first thing that came to my mind was how similar the charging case of this mic looks so much like the famous holy land black m2 charging case except that this one has a digital display for the charging and the battery percentage the case has a smooth and matte finish which i like and the best part is how lightweight it is making it easy to be carried around at the back of the case is where the type c charging port is located this case houses a 900 milliamp battery capacity that can charge its content up to three times. Opening the charging case was effortlessly easy and inside the case we have two transmitters and one receiver. The design of the receiver and the transmitters also looks so much like that of the LAC M2. However, these transmitters are bigger in size and lighter in weight. Each transmitter has 100 milliamp battery capacity with working duration of up to seven hours. In another video, I'll be doing a comparison of this microphone with the LAC M2 microphone. Moving on, looking at the receiver, it has a rectangular shape. There are two yellow buttons on the left and a 3.5 mm jack. On the right side of it is where we have the Type-C port for connecting the receiver to your phone and also for manual charging of the receiver. It also has a clip on which you can attach to your camera or your recording accessory. Looking at the microphone transmitters, they are circular in shape. On the right side of it is where the power slash multifunction button is located. At the top is the windproof net and under it there is a type C port for charging the transmitter manually. At the back of it is a clip-on which is magnetic and completely detachable for a more convenient use. This microphone ensures stable interference free transmission. It works at up to 20 meters using the 2.4 GHz digital frequency while the 48 kilohertz sampling frequency and the 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz frequency response ensures great sound quality and it perfectly records every detail if you'll be using this mic for your camera this part here is where you will connect this mic to the 3.5 mm jack cable and there is also a tag on the cable directing you on the path to plug into the receiver for those that will be using this mic for their type c audio enabled smartphones just plug this part of the type c into the receiver and this other part with the tag into your phone and you are good to go i will go ahead now to set up and show you the different function modes of this microphone the receiver and the transmitters should turn on immediately they are taken out of the case this first button here is the power button which you can long press for two seconds to turn off or turn on the receiver the indicator light comes on once it is turned on with flashing blue lights until the receiver and the microphones are paired together and the flashing light turns to a steady blue light. The second yellow button here serves as the multifunction key of the receiver. You can press on it to switch to silent mode with the flashing blue light to indicate that it is on silent mode and a steady blue light when the silent mode is turned off. To use the transmitter is easy. Long press the yellow button on the right side here for 2 seconds to turn on or turn off the mic. The first icon here shows a steady blue light to indicate that the mic is on and paired. The second icon is a noise reduction icon which activates by default showing a blue light once the mic is turned on. To turn off the noise reduction feature, single press the power button to turn it off or turn it back on. 
The third icon here is a silent mode icon which activates with the blue light indicator on once you double click on the power button. To turn it off, double click on it again. The fourth icon is the battery indicator lights. To switch the mic to reverberation mode, that is if you want an echo sound output, triple click the power button with the sound icon for the noise reduction flashing a blue light. Triple click on it again to turn off the reverberation mode with the blue light turned off. For those who would be using this mic for their iPhones with the lightning port, just plug in the Type-C part of the cable into the receiver and the lightning part into the iPhone. Turn on the microphone transmitter, set it at the mode that suits you and then hit the record button on your phone. Now let's move on to the sound test of this microphone. Okay, so this is the audio without any microphone at all and I am currently recording this with an iPhone. I'm sure you must have noticed how noisy this room is. I have a fan turned on over there that is noisy, the studio light that is emitting a kind of noise over there and the AC behind me that is turned on and making a whole lot of noise. I will go ahead now to turn on the mic to test the sound. So this is what this mic sounds like without using the noise cancellation feature. And I'm sure you must have noticed that the sound has improved greatly from what we had before turning on the mic and what we currently have. Now I will go ahead to turn on the noise cancellation feature to test the sound. This is what it sounds like with the noise cancelling feature turned on and I am really impressed with the level of the background noise in this room that it was able to cancel. It's like the whole noise in this room has been eliminated completely why it still goes ahead to deliver a clear and crisp audio. This is unlike most budget friendly microphones I have tested in the past that produce a kind of muffled sound once the noise cancelling feature is turned on. That's about it with the sound test. On the downside, the battery of the charging case doesn't last as long as I would have liked it to. I noticed that charging the microphone and the receiver with the charging case for the first time, the charging case battery percentage went from 70% to 20% in a matter of 30 minutes. But after charging the case for the first time, I noticed also that the charging case battery improved better than it was when I used it the first time without charging it. Overall, this Green Lion GLM wireless mic lights to me is one of a kind when compared to other budget wireless microphones I have used or come across in the past. The design is aesthetically pleasing. I appreciate the intentionality of the brand in providing all the necessary accessories including the storage pouch for safekeeping. What I love most about this mic apart from the price is the quality of the audio it delivers. This mic no doubt delivers a professional grade sound quality and it is worth every money I spent on it and even more. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.